This is the Li time. Lithium, iron, phosphate, 50 amp hour battery pack. This is a remarkably handy cell. It's got a great carry handle right here, so you got it to go. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a MPPT solar charger on here and also a 12 volt DC outlet just to give it a little bit more uh, usability here. Uh, some of my other builds that I've done, I packaged all of this in a box, but I wanted to see if we could approach this with a more minimalist way of doing it. So I made some mounts. For the, uh, for the solar charger. They're just 3D printed with some uh, 3M VHB tape on them. Same with the, uh, with the 12 volt outlet here. So I've got everything pre-wired up. I already have the outlet on here for the solar uh, input. I'm using a uh, XT60 connector on here. We can pop this cap off just a dust cap and uh, this will give me a great way to have the leads be detachable from the battery for the solar panel and uh, let's get to mounting this stuff together and uh, see if we can create a really great little solar battery source for your kayak or um, whatever whatever purpose you have for a really handy 12 volt cell. This is real 3M VHB tape, and this stuff is an acrylic adhesive that doesn't reach its full strength for 24 hours after application. But it is, it is used in industry all over the place for attaching things that you absolutely don't want to come apart again. It is very vibration resistant and temperature resistant. Great solution. The reason I'm mounting this upside down on the battery is just to keep my leads uh, contained up here on the top where they're all going to be run. But um, once we get everything hooked up, we will uh, get this packaged up. We will need to switch this to the uh, Lifey Po battery setting, which will be a green LED on here. This charger is the ATEM Power charger. It is probably the cheapest MPPT charger you can get in this class. Um, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles like a lot of other solutions will have. Um, but it is inexpensive. It will get you in the game for very little money. And it's perfectly sized for a cell this size and like a single 200 amp or a 200 watt solar panel, which we'll get this hooked up to here shortly. The LEDs that you're going to see on the ATEM charge controller are flashing because of an interaction between the camera shutter and the device itself. Uh, in normal operation, when you're looking at them as a human being, they appear to be steady state or constantly on or off. So don't think that this thing is blinky blinky all the time because it isn't. This is the ground wire. Going to go ahead and change this battery type. In order to change the battery type, once you get the battery connected, you need to hold the battery type button down until you get the flashing light. White is going to be for lead acid. Red is for uh, AGM. Blue is for calcium. And green is for life EPO, which is lithium iron phosphate and that's what we want so we're gonna, gonna hold this down green is what we want we've got green there we go I've also put a switch on here 
So when I don't want the parasitic load of the charger on the battery, I can just turn it off. Next up, we're gonna get this uh, 12 volt outlet hooked up. A quick note on the ATEM uh, chargers terminal strip here. You could use just bare wires in here, but since all of the wires I was using were stranded, I really don't like to just stick those in a, in a terminal strip. So I did crimp some really nice terminals on there and they are uh, the heat shrink um, self-adhesive type terminals. So mechanically it is a very, very solid connection. Uh, both electrically and mechanically. So I, I don't expect any troubles here. And it is worth the extra effort if you're willing to take a little bit more time to crimp some ring terminals on there. That way, you know, even should that terminal come loose, it's very unlikely that that terminal is going to fall off. And that's it. We are wired up. All right, here we go. There is our improvised solar battery pack. And uh, the reason I, I really like this, number one was the price. Number two is the fact that it already had a USB-A and a USB-C connector right on it. So it really didn't add much. And uh, now we're gonna get this guy hooked up out in the yard on a uh, solar panel and uh, get it charging. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug in the 10 gauge cable that goes to the solar panels. And these are a folding portable set of panels. And notice that the solar light is not illuminated on the, uh, on the charger controller. And that is indicating that I am not getting power. And I did have a wire issue and I did fix it. Um, I actually had to uh, switch to a different set of portable panels until I can actually find and diagnose that that issue. But it was with the other set of panels that I had out. But this is the Lifanex uh, set. They have been rock solid in all of my testing. And uh, they did come with a great little device for checking the panel alignment to the sun. Um, you know, when you're using these portable ones, you do, here we got the green light, we're good, we're charging. Um, you want to make sure that that alignment is as good as you can get. Um, we're getting power, we're getting charge going into the battery, and the charge indicator or the uh, panel alignment indicator gives you a little dot that it creates a shadow on the back of the device to tell you how well aligned to the sun you are. So we're charging, and uh, you can notice I've had to move the panels throughout the day. I started it about uh, a little after one in the afternoon and uh, it's getting later in the afternoon. And uh, now that sun has gone down, we've lost the solar indicator, which means we're no longer producing enough power with the panels. I turned the battery off and shut her down for the night. And um, I did leave everything set up so that I could resume charging in the morning just to make sure that I'm topped off. But yeah, we've lost the sun for the day. Thank you for joining me on this build of the Lytime uh, portable DC source. I really enjoyed this little project. It was, uh, it was a heck of a lot of fun. I really like the minimalist approach to the solar generator, if you will. And, uh, and this was definitely brought to you by uh, Lytime. They supplied me the battery. I did buy the charger and the, um, and the DC outlet myself, but, uh, Lightime did supply the battery, and I'm super thankful to them for that. But, uh, yeah, this can go in your kayak. It can go in your boat as an auxiliary 12-volt source. Lots and lots of applications. Camping, anywhere you need an improvised 12-volt source. This is a great, great choice.